Welcome everyone to my first impressions of Axis and Allies 1942 and I'm going to have to complete my account here so be right back. All right so we're back so let's take a look at this game. Now this game I have just kind of become aware of this game I think a few months ago where I saw like a press release. I actually made a video about it and I was really excited about it. Uh, the developer, I'm going to see the developer's name in a second once this loading screen finishes, has took it upon themselves to basically reboot Axis and Allies for the desktop version for the yeah for the <laughs> for the uh, PC for the uh, Mac for the Windows and Linux. Yeah, that's right. If you have Linux, you can actually download this game and play it and I, I really love them when it's cross-platform really love it Mac Linux and then Windows <laughs> all right so once this loads kind of like a paradox loading screen it takes a little bit all right that's right beam dog that's the developer And my apologies that I didn't know that right off the bat. I should have. Uh, a lot of things going on. I actually had uh, brought home my my uh, first child today. So I uh, brought my home my son. And it's kind of weird saying that. <laughs> Never thought that would actually happen. Anyway, let's look at this game for easy. Play, dice are rolled in sequence. Attackers rolled first and then defenders. Now, I want to kind of give you some backstory. I am a huge Axis and Allies fan. I'm a like fanatic with Axis and Allies. I grew up on this game. Like it was the '90s. There was nothing to do when you finished playing Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo. You went and you grabbed Axis and Allies 1942. Is this a tutorial? Oh. Welcome to the front lines, Commander. The Allies need all the help we can get out here. It's a nice map. Okay. The Axis have advanced into North Africa, fortifying their position in Europe. Okay. If we can wrest the area from occupying German forces, we can use North Africa as a foothold to strike the Axis a little closer to home. First, we need to order some additional troops and materiel to support the operation. Let's skip the tutorial. All right, I'm not a tutorial guy. So if you are, feel free. I always like kind of just diving right in. You know, I don't like putting my feet in the pool. I like just jumping in. Well, most of the time. Anyway, beautiful kind of splash screen here. I like it. It's nice. You got a little animation there. I, I like noticing these little things because artists put a lot of work into this. So I do appreciate it and it does look nice. You got a nice. So I am going to, I'm going to do a single player. All right, let's start this up. All right, so it looks like the Russians go first. So we got our first look at this map here. Combat move. Let's see the fluidity of... Oh. Yeah, it's nice and fluid. Cool. Does WASD keys work? Yes, they do, even in mid-turn. Okay, cool. I love when the WASD keys are properly mapped. You'd be surprised how many games there are out there that don't map them, and it drives me nuts sometimes. So it kind of kind of breaks down here. Territory has changed, so it looks like the Germans are kind of doing a lot of work there, kind of breaking right into Russia. Oh wait, my bad. That goes from German to Russian control. My bad. Russians go first. So. All right, round one combats. Victory 
these cities to win. Got a little battle going on here. Can I click on it, see what's going on? Kind of gives me a heads up with the sea zone. That's cool that you can go in here and see what is going on. This is nice and clean. Eight infantry, two artillery, one tank, three infantry. Nice, and you can see what everybody's doing. This is cool. Nice. Okay, can I go back and see what was going on? No, I can't, I have to, maybe I have to do that. So as you can see, the Germans kind of pushed right into Russia. Let me go around. There's a little bit of a hiccup here. You can see the frame rate dropping. So the map is fluid like this. This is fluid. It's nice and clean. But then when I'm trying to, you can see that choppiness. I don't know where that's coming from. I mean, it's not a graphically intensive map. It's pretty basic, so I don't understand why there's choppiness. I am running a video recorder, and I have a... AMD 560 graphics core, 4 gigs of video RAM, so it's a mid-range card, and I'm able to play, like, pretty big games with a nice fluid frame rate, like Battlestar Galactica, which has a lot more stuff going on. I'm able to run at a, a clean frame rate, so I wonder why that's... But anyway, so let's see, as the English, what am I going to do here? So I can build, I can repair, let's build. Uh, I can build land units, sea units, air units, industry units, okay. All right, so we got infantry, artillery, tank, or anti-aircraft artillery, sea, air, and industry. Okay, so I kind of want to build, I guess I get eight IP, yes. So I probably want to build one more right, to get a little bit more IP. Let's see what kind of units I have. I have fighters. Can I zoom in and see how many I have? Well, I got two fighters, one bomber, one anti-aircraft. I guess the Germans bomb me. I got minus three. Tank, artillery, and I got two infantry. And I think this is all one kind of province there. So I think what I want to do here, as the English, I'm gonna take Norway. So this way, I, I know the Germans have six here, but if I could put a you know a thorn in their back, it might help out the. Uh, wow, they have no troops in this. I'm not gonna do that because they'll just get railroaded. But who's in here? German subs. Okay, and then I got the English troops here too. Damn, that choppiness is really bad. Okay, so normally what I do every time I play Axis and Allies, ooh, let, can I select the unit? Oh no, I have to do this first, my bad. Purchase order comes first. So what, am I, what do I wanna build? Uh, I know I have a factory here, I think, right? From what I remember. I know it's over here, ooh. Uh, let's see, uh, let's build. Let's build one of those. I need a tank up there, right? Because I only have one tank, so let's build another tank. I got four IPC left. Where's my English Navy? I got a transport and I got a destroyer. I like how the map, that this is one pro right off the bat. It's easy to kind of see what's going on. I got one transport here, and I got a destroyer. The only thing is, yeah. So it kind of gives, it, it's an easy way of kind of like seeing what the heck's going on in the map. Because a lot of times, you know, especially if you're playing a board game, there's so many units on the map that it becomes just like, you, you got to kind of count like, all right, I got this, this. And it's been a while since I played Axile and Allies board game. But I remember once you start adding all these units, it becomes kind of a mess. <laughs> but this is easy to kind of understand, you know, it's like I got two infantry, I got one artillery, one tank two of these guys, one bomber. So that's a pro I like. It's nice and easy to kind of understand where everything is. Uh, in regards to the map, I do like the map. You know, it's nicely detailed. Nice 
texture. Not too much detail on the land masses, but it, it feels like a board, like an actual board, like a game board. So that I, I like that. I just don't understand why this is choppy. It's really weird. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start developing. It's kind of crazy that. I gotta figure out if they destroyed it. What does this do here? War Diary. Ah, so I can actually go back and see what was going on. So I can actually break down and see what was happening. So these are the combat moves. One bomber raided England. Move to attack C zone. Can you give me the stats of what happened? War report. Okay, nice. All right. So is this territories? Okay, this is just a like a overall. Okay, that's cool. I want a battle report. Can you give me a combat report? So I got three IPCs. Battle conducted. That's not involving me. That is involving me. So Germany one destroyed one submarine, one battleship, and one transport, and one and lost one sub. And I'm assuming that's me because in the previous one it said it was going after me. So the Germans took care of my, basically my navy, and they have three left. Dang on. Interesting. Check this out. So destroyed one of my subs, one battleship, and one transport. They only lost one sub, so they put in four subs altogether. Wow. It's easy to take out a battleship. Wow. That sucks. All right, but it's cool that you can kind of break down and see what was going on. You can see they were Germans and the Russians were kind of trading those provinces. I like that. What does this do here? Map notes. There are no map notes to read. I wonder what all this will do. Can you kind of break me down? All right. It's pretty easy to kind of see what everything is about this game here. All right, so I'm building two of those. I'm probably gonna have to build, yeah. It's nice that they, if I do that, it'll tell me. So it's like the little things. So this is another pro I wanted to mention. Like the developer didn't have to do this. I could just kind of click on it and then nothing happens. But they actually put in, you can't purchase units with a greater cost. I like that. It's kind of like hitting you over the heads like, hey dude, you can't do this. Instead of just like, why is this not going? And then you having to figure out a little later. So, six, I have four left, so I can't build anything. Thank God. I'm just gonna build one tank, I think. Focus on transport. That's it, basically. I'll get an infantry unit. That's basically all I can buy. Bloody Germans screwed me up. All right, so I'm gonna end that phase. Building one industrial complex. Go to the next phase. All right, so I'm in the combat mode. Let's see how easy it is to kind of get a feel of how everything works. Now, if I remember correctly, can I select this, they move over to and then move them? I'm not going to risk it. Actually, you know what? Let's try it. This is just a... I'm not actually doing this as a real one. It's my cool. Do I select that? Do I right click? Nope. Transport cannot perform. Oh, okay. I don't know how I did that, but it worked. Okay, cool. And then right click to deselect. Nope. Left click. Escape. Nope. How do I. St okay, there we go. The unit cannot can end the combat move phase in a season with enemy units. But you're not going with enemy units. There's no enemy units in this. Transport's going in too. Can you go in? Here? That's weird. Oh, this is cool. 
So I'm assuming if you're like, if another player is like Russia or US, you can actually kind of put map notes. That's cool. I like that. That's another pro right there. Map notes. It's nice. I just have a tough time. Kind of. Whoa. That's not good. Uh, that's not good. Okay. That was weird. That was a, definitely a graphical issue. All right, I can't get this guy to move. I know it's telling me like, you can't move into combat move phase in a season with enemy units, but like, I'm trying to go here. Friendly to the allies, there's no, as far as I know, like this is one C-Zone, right? There is no enemy units here, so. Is it because this guy is here? Can you go here? Can you go here? But you can't really go anywhere. Bloody heck. That's really weird. Alright, so... Maybe I'll do it in a non-combat unit phase. Let's click this. Alright, cool. supposed to be without enemy units because if I click I know I just want to select this guy I could probably click that I'm not gonna do that though all right so interesting darn no I would love to move this to support the attack here. And I'm not gonna like state this as a con, mainly because I'm trying to remember from like a decade ago, last time I played Axis and Allies, so it's 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 been a while. I'm trying to remember, I would have also thought like the map had a little bit more detail in the original Axis and Allies. If I did, I'm gonna put like a text on here. But I don't, I don't know. I feel like I could have put a little bit more textures in this. All right, anyway, let's do that. The Americans are here. We're gonna move all you guys. Oh, that's right. It's not a combat phase. Let us... Can I move all of them? That's right, I can't do that. I have to do it in a combat phase. Alright. Alright, I guess there's nothing else I can do, right? Because everything has to be in a combat phase. So, let's just end this turn, see what happens. To Libya. Okay, let's rock and roll. Go to next phase. So, we're in the combat phase. Alright. Ooh, I like this. Okay, like it. I mean, it's the little touches. They could have just made it generic, but you got that little, I think a little bit more uh, drama, more of that tense atmosphere, like fire kind of scrolling from the right hand side. Little things. All right, let's see. I'm probably gonna lose, but let's just do it anyway. Roll dice. All right, so my guys took out this guy. Roll dice. I like this. Ooh, I like those animations. That's pretty nice. All right. This guy's going to kick my ass. I'm going to roll. Roll your dice. <laughs> Suckers. All right, roll your dice. Oh, 
the attack. I'd be stupid not to right there only have one left. Come on, two or less. No, that's not good. Three or less. Come on. Yes. Done. Dunzos. Damn it. Son of a cracker. Alright, well. That was actually cool combat. I like that. Right. Got Libya. Cool. Alright, so that was on the combat phase. Let's see if the map yeah, it's a little choppy a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit choppy still. Alright. Normally Steam would tell me what my frame rate per second here is, but it it's not letting me put up the Steam overlay for some reason. I don't know why. I've been trying to figure that out. If you guys know why, I went into the preferences and turned it on and made sure everything's working, but it just doesn't work anymore, which is weird. All right, so let's end this phase. Let's see what everything else is about. Combat summary. It took the, keep the crap out of the Germans there. Put Rommel on a plane right back to Berlin. All right. No, no! Damn it. Oh, no. All right, cool. I actually accidentally thought I clicked it twice. And All right, cool. So... I just gotta get used to this combat, non-combat phases here. So another pro I wanted to mention, it's easy to move units. It really is. Just left click and it kind of does everything for you, honestly. Oh, I'm gonna mess with the Russians. <laughs> Most of those guys there. Japanese are here. I should probably leave the Japanese for the Americans. I really don't want to. At least put you there. Yeah, I'm gonna get this fleet out of the way. No offense to the uh, for bad abandoned Americans, but yeah, I want to at least be away from the Japanese. I know they can probably show my troops here, but I want my fleet intact. I want to actually make Germ Germany the priority here. So, oh, okay. There we go, okay. It's probably a stupid idea if I move this, right? Because I got three subs, they can knock me out. So you know what I'm gonna do? The only problem is, is like if I move these guys here, I think the Germans can go two spaces, so they'll take me out here. If I go here, they can take me out one, two, maybe, and then the next turn I can go one, two, and land support and combat ops. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Oh, shots. You tell me a destroyer. Go here. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. The destroyer can only go one space. All right, cool. So we're on the non combat movement phase. I think everything's good. I should have done something with the Australians. That was my bad. Keep forgetting the UK has a lot of assets. I like that you can go through this war diary and kind of see what everybody's been doing. I took that cool combat. You could see. I like this, man. Honestly, I remember there was a Axis and Allies back in the day, back in like the 2000s, and it was horrific. I mean, it was, I remember when I first got it. I think I bought it. 
and it crashed like a mother. It just was horrible. Like it was just it, it was just horrific. This, on the other hand, I really like. I really like this. It's clean. The UI is very slick. It's very just eye popping. And they just do little things like you have a war diary, you kind of go based upon that. You put map notes, so if I'm telling the Russians, kind of go over here, uh, take out Germany, I'll come around and help you out. And I can do my purchase order, I can see what I did. I mean, it's it's easy to like navigate. And you get a war report, kind of like breaking everything down. It's the devs put thoughts into this UI. Like they worked this out, they took this seriously. So this is. This is awesome. Okay, go to the next phase. Mobilization. So I'm assuming this is the part yet where I put things down. Okay. So let me... I'm not really going to do anything with England right now. I'm going to put... England is... I initially was going to take out Norway, but since my transport's gone, it's like worthless at this point. I'm going to put transport there. Probably a stupid idea, but whatever. Nice. Alright, look at this. It breaks this down. Territories, plus one national production. Wow, I really like this game. I really like this game. You know, it's just, it's little things like, it kind of Gives me all these summaries, kind of breaks everything down. All right, so the Japanese are going at it. Let me move the camera over there. So you can kind of see. Ah, look, check this out. You can kind of hover over. You kind of, as you hover over, I think it was kind of highlighting where that was. All right. What happens if I follow player? Ah, okay, cool. So we'll kind of break things down like that. Nice. That's cool. That's another pro feature. I like this follow player thing. We can go in and out, or you can just watch the board. Kind of like this, or you can go back. That's cool. That's another pro right there. Jeez, this game is awesome. Alright, German's turn now. I don't think it'll worry about me in North Africa, honestly. Or Russia. Oh shit. Who won that one? Ay. Oh. It's smooth too. You can see it as it like pans around. It's nice and smooth. You know, and it's just the little things. You know, it's a, it's. A, some people will be like not notice that I do notice that because you know you have to put in particular work to get it that nice smooth animation it actually takes a little bit of programming so I do appreciate that so I think North Africa is gonna be mine so I got two more IPCs or ICs IPC there you go so it's just at 32 now ah uh, that's why it took so much so, let's build up. Let's build up the Royal Navy. I think there's a mount, maximum amount that I can build here, right? So, I'm going to build one transport. Two. Oh, man, I'm running down to nine. And a sub. Let's 
Let's do the transport. Let's just build that. Because honestly, even if I get the transport, what can I do? They got five here. If I took take Norway, they got a cruiser and a transport already. They can knock me out. So right now, England's going to have to play the... Um, going to have let the Germans run the run the show there because they took out my whole navy. I'm going to focus on North Africa. I build my fleet here, so I'm going to put these two guys here and move the main fleet so this way I have like a big armada thing going on. Build one of those guys. Build one of those guys. Actually, you know what? So I can have a zero. Good to go. You can get a nice war report. Break down everybody's production here. 30, 42. Americans are 43. Check that. Nice. IPC remaining. Nice. I like it. Alright, so we did that. End phase. Oh, check this out. The AI is smart enough. Because I'm playing in single player. I think we should attack this territory. That is cool. They made the AI hook up with map notes. I thought this was only like a user kind of thing, but it looks like they set up a couple of kind of methods in this game where you kind of program the AI to kind of like suggest certain things attack here in France yeah I'm not stupid dude I would I would need I can't just attack that that's cool I like that that's really cool all right so I did I did the purchase order right So I'm gonna meet up with my boys and oh that's right I can't. I have to wait for a non. You can go. Yes you can, my friend. Yes you can. Can you land? Oh, cannot read probably has no with region ID of null. Please reload the game. Oh that <laughs> That didn't do well. All right. Okay, at least it brings me back to this. If I do it again, is it gonna kind of give me that? It's gonna ask. It's gonna fail to locate that node, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it. So can't find. Cannot read property. Has no with region ID. Okay. I'm having a. I'm wondering what kind of engine they're using this, because this sounds familiar. Nodes. There's a few engines that I actually classify. Anyway, I'm not going to go go into that. All right, well, at least the cool thing about this game, one of the cons is I have to mention these bugs. There was a graphical issue bug, and there's this crash bug that it can't recognize no. But I will have to say, as a side note to this con, that at least... It you know, pull, you know it auto saves, so that's really cool. I don't have to start from the last turn, and I don't have to start from like the beginning because that would have sucked. Really would have royally sucked. All right. Okay, that's right. And you're gonna chill there. Maybe I can get this bomber. Oh, that's right, my bad. I can't. Look at the Russians coming down. What are you trying to do? Oh, shit. Son of a gun, man. Let me 
go back to this war diary thing because the Japanese kicked my ass. Let's go to round one. See, this is little things. Like, I noticed they took out my guys there. And it's going to tell me if I hover. There we go. Okay. I thought it would, once I go over, it would highlight it, doesn't it? Japan won and took the territory, destroyed four of my infantry and one anti aircraft artillery, and they only lost two infantry. Dag on. Alright, well. So they have a tank, artillery, and two infantry, and I am outgunned. Definitely outgunned. And I can't attack because, honestly, if I attack and I lose, then India falls. So, maybe use this plane. Maybe that can work. If I use the plane and these two guys, that might work. I might be able to move these guys. I wonder if I could do short bombardment. I, I'm trying to remember if I could. What do you guys think? Should I kick the crap out of them? It's gonna be tight now. I'm not. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm really not doing many combat moves, am I? I just don't... I don't feel comfortable doing it. Ah, look what they have flying right there. What do I have here? Take them out. I got a sub. I got a transport. Transport's worthless there. And I got a cruiser. One, two, dang on! Yeah, I'm gonna have to move him on during the non-combat phase here so I can get within striking distance. Oh, that's right, I can't do it. I keep forgetting non-combat phase. Combat phase, non-combat phase. I gotta kinda engineer that in my head. So there's nothing more I can do, honestly. I'm just gonna move my guys into Algeria. That's pretty much it, I think. Right? There's not much I'm gonna do. I know some of you guys are thinking I should bomb Germany with IPCs, but they're going to destroy my bomber. I don't want to do that. I want to kind of save that guy for when I need him. So, I don't want to throw out assets. So, I'm just going to end the fence. Cool. Quick phase. Slowly but surely. guys. Ah, Dagon. Yeah. Get another sip of my coffee. So, I have a problem. I'm gonna have him move there, and I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just... <laughs> Daggone. Nice. Cool. Alright, that was easy, man. That was easy. I like that. I like that when you select a unit. This is another pro here, I gotta mention. When you select it, it kinda gives you a heads up where they can go. That's cool. I like this. This is really cool. Because honestly, when I was playing a board game, you, I remember I had it like, all right, I'm gonna move this guy to North Africa. That's one, two, uh, three, does that count? You know, so it was like one of those things that you kind of had to figure out and you know, it took time, and especially everybody's doing it, it takes time. But I could just quickly do that. Look how easy that was. That is cool, I like this. This basically breaks down Axis and Allies so that anybody can play it. Like, you don't have to read the rule book. And I know the rule book for Axis and Allies is not that long. It's not like playing, well, what was it? War in the, not War in the Pacific. My buddy always, my buddy always played this game. There's a big World War II game that is pretty epic. There's like two, three massive maps. I forgot the name of it. But it's, it's a massive, massive game. I forgot it. But a game like that, I'll, I'll put the name on at the screen. But... A game like that would take, I remember it took like days of trying to figure out how to do things. Access and Allies is not like that. 
but still you have to read the directions. Here, you can literally just jump in. I haven't played Axis Allies in like a decade, so this is pretty cool. All right, so I wanna move these guys. Alright, got my whole fleet heading there. I'm gonna take care of these guys. Let's see if the AI is smart in this game. Oh wait, one, two. That would be stupid. Can I? Yes, I can. Nice, I can do that. One, two, one, two. That would only put me in range of these guys these guys. I don't think they would risk that. This way maybe I can start taking this. Quick, easy, simple. I know I haven't written all my map notes. Mobilization, let's take care of this. So I definitely want to put tank there. One destroyer. Can I put another thing? Ah no, I can't. Okay. That's smart. Yep, no, I can't. build that factory up. Look, my PC is going up. Alright, let's follow the Japanese see what they're doing. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, they're taking it. They're going after me over there. Do they win? They're taking the Hawaiian Islands. They're trying to at least. All right, what do they got? They're putting a cruiser in. Oh, I think they did some damage there. I think they did some damage. going in. Oh, that same plane, look at that. That floating their entire fleet. Oh! I saw something green. Oh, okay. That's bombers. Nice. U.S. took care of that. They took care of Morocco. Nice. Wow, okay. Good having a smart AI. Especially when <laughs> I'm not that great at this game. <laughs> So Russians next up. If they get the caucuses, like, my area is going to be in serious jeopardy right there. Let's see how the Russians do. Come on, hold. Oh, man, that's not good. Russians can't hold their own, man. Come on, man. Or at least they hold their... Daggone, man. So now I have threats on my... My border with the Japanese and the North. The Germans have popped their heads back up. So now I have to redistribute forces. Dag gone. All right, let me see what's going on. All right, so I got a massive fleet here. Guess what I'm gonna be doing, right? So they only got three units here. This is my overall plan. I have bombers, I'm gonna have fighters. I'm gonna just kick the crap here and make a launch and attack at mainland Germany. Because they got nothing here. Majority of their forces over here and they're stretched thin. 
So I think that's, that's this is what I'm worried about. They got the caucuses now. They can spread rampage around here. I got a tank, I got two tanks, right? I got that destroyer with a tank, so I got three tanks, a soldier, and then this guy, I gotta build, I gotta build at least two or three infantry, so I need two or three infantry, one, two, three, up to 23. Let us build another transport, right? Because that's one transport, that's two transports, I think that's what I need. I think a transport can move. If I go over, is it gonna highlight? Let me see. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. I like that. It's gonna tell me can carry units. Any one land unit plus one additional infantry. So a tank and an infantry. Okay, I like that they put that there. That's pretty cool. I got it. If there was. Big props to the developers. I I, I do want to mention this because this is this is props right here. I like that. I'm trying to figure out like hey, how much can these guys move, and I can easily just click there, click transport. Kind of breaks down everything I need to know. Quick, simple, easy. Look how fast that was. So now I remember that you can carry a tank and you can carry a soldier. So I got this guy and this guy uh, covered. He has a tank. Yeah, I'm gonna get another transport. So that's gonna be bring me 16. That'll cover that other tank. So I'm gonna have a monstrous one, two, three tanks and an infantry guy. You know what? I'm gonna get another infantry guy. Put two here. And just land with a massive army. And I got 13 left over. What should I do with the 13? Let's build more infantry. Uh, let's build one more time. Let's build more infantry. Uh, C. Nothing's 10, right? I think I'm going to end it here, guys. I hear the little one crying, so I want to kind of attend to that. Uh, overall, I wanted to kind of give you my first glimpse of this game. I want to make sure that this saves. If I hit exit to desktop, will it exit? Yes. So, this is Access and Allies 1942 Online. I want to see what the price tag is. It releases in 12 hours. I don't see the price tag for it. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's, perhaps maybe they didn't list it. But just giving you my rendition on my first impressions of this. Overall, guys, I really like this. This game is really, really, I, <laughs> you know, a lot of people on the forums, a lot of people were talking about how, you know, the last every kind of iteration of Access and Allies that hit the, you know, the desktop, the PC has just crashed and burned. This, this is really awesome. I really like this. And I do recommend picking it up. This kind of brings that Access and Allies feel that I've kind of wanted to savor again, you know, that that from my youth, you know, that that flavor I want again. So, and the cool thing about this is the developer put a lot of work into it. You have the UI that looks, that they put work in. It's nice, it's sleek. The map, I gotta actually see if this is the, uh, if, if this was the actual map or if there was a little bit more. I think this is basically what the map looked like from, I'm trying to remember. I don't know if there was textures on there, if there was like mountains and stuff, but in any case, I do like it. There's, it's very intuitive. I skipped the tutorial. I was able to go right into it and start picking up and play. Uh, I like the animations. They put a lot of work into the animations, like little things like, like this, where you have the animations and things blowing up. I like that. Other things I do like about this game, it's 
kind of like run down everything. You, oh, I love that it kind of breaks everything down, that you can kind of get summaries all throughout, like after a battle kind of breaks down. Also, after your round ends, it kind of says this is how many IPCs you gained. This is the units that you lost. And if you kind of want to go back to, you know, the first round or the second round, it's easy to do so. It's just intuitive, the UI. I just... I have nothing but good things to say. I mean, there's two cons that I, I, from what I remember playing this game, is one, right off, just a little thing, is the bugs. You, you, you saw that. And the other thing is the graphical issue bug. So just bugs, honestly, that I, I saw. But overall, I mean, like, bugs can be fixed with patches. But overall, I really like this game. This is really awesome. And, yeah, I, I, I... I completely recommend this game. I'm going to be playing this game like crazy. The one thing I want to say to the developer, Beamdog, is I will love a mobile port of this game. I would love a mobile port of this game. I... <laughs> if you make a mobile port of this game, 20 bucks right there. I would just... And I know some of you guys are going to say that's crazy to put $20 into a game that's a mobile. I want access and allies on my phone. I want it. It would be awesome. I'm going to leave it right there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. First impressions. Catch you guys in the next one.